All right, what up, y'all? So, today's project. <sighs> Not sure if any of y'all have got to this message yet. But, engine hot, AC off. Temperature is staying all the way down. So, from what I heard, it's either a thermostat or a coolant temperature sensor. So... From what I saw, it's looking like the, the sensor on this one isn't that hard to get to, so I'm gonna change the sensor first and see if that fixes the problem. And this should work for all the 2012 and up Impalas with 3.6 engine. So, sit back and, I don't know, either enjoy or learn something. Alright, so this is the sensor. Uh it looks to be a 19 millimeter. I don't have a 19, but I got a three-quarter inch wrench, which is pretty close. So let's see. Yeah, so this three quarter is pretty close. So it should be close enough to where it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And try to slide this light over. But this is what we're looking at. And should be able to just pull the shield off. And you'll see the sensor right there. So gonna go ahead and unplug that and then uh get ready to unscrew it and it might drip a little bit so uh i'm gonna see what i can find and kind of catch some of that just in case it start dripping but yeah let me go ahead and uh try to get this plug off all right so change of plans still using the three quarter inch because i don't have a 19 but we're using a socket this time because getting the wrench in here to fit right and on there would be a big problem. So if you can still see, this will get on here and it'll be able to reach. So just put a little extension on that and I should be good. All right, and you want to make sure the engine is kind of cooled off. And if you can drain the fluid out because it is going to drip some, but if not, just work quick and uh so we're gonna see how quick we can work but and you'll see it start to drip so all right so you lose a little bit but the new piece is in so now I can just start to tighten this stuff down. It's tight enough to where it's not dripping now, but I'm going to go ahead and get this socket on it and uh, finish it off. Alright, so I'm just tighten this up. should be good to go and just gonna dry that plug off and uh, hook it all back up and the reason for the towel when I did it to cover everything up it looked like that starter is right under that so I didn't want to have to deal with that starter getting wet and then potentially messing something up or shorting something out later when it's still wet so you know precautionary stuff but it's in there i'm gonna plug it back up and uh hopefully the problem is fixed all right so i got it threaded in there it's dried off we'll go ahead and uh 
slide this piece back down if I can yeah so there's the plug so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back up alright so let's push this back a little bit and line this back up uh, it's hard to get under here with one hand hold on let me switch to I'm right handed so it'd be a little easier this way yeah whole lot easier alright so that's hooked up cover that piece back up I lost a little bit of coolant uh, I'm gonna replace a little bit yeah wouldn't have to replace a little bit so I'm gonna put some in here and uh, then I'm gonna start it up and see what I got all right sensor is replaced cover back up plugged in moment of truth let's see if this was the issue all right we still got a problem could be the sensor just hadn't readjusted could be a thermostat so we'll give it a second and uh, later we'll figure something out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this battery. Just because I'm not sure if the code is still stuck in there from earlier. Or what, like I'm not sure if it's supposed to just automatically reset and be good. Or if you got to wait like a certain amount of time and then the code reset. So I'm just going to give it a little, a little kickstart. And... Lead us unplugged for a minute and then uh, I don't know. I'll come back in about five or ten minutes, plug it back up, and uh, the light should be off then. There should be enough time for everything to reset and all of that. And then I'm gonna see if it stays off. And uh, if it does, problem solved. If not, <sighs> probably gonna have to go through all in here and get this thermostat out and replace that because that's the other option that it might be. But we're trying the easiest of the two before we get, you know. Yeah, we're trying the easy option first. And if that's not it, then it's going to be thermostat. So hopefully this fixes it and then I'm good to go. But I'll be right back. All right, battery is reconnected. So we're going to try this and hopefully everything is back working. Check engine light is off. Temperature is reading. So hopefully this is the fix. And uh I'll check it again tomorrow because I'm pretty much done for the night. But uh I ride around a little bit in the morning and uh we'll see how it is. Alright, what up y'all? So moment of truth. It's the next day, so we're gonna see how uh if this light comes back on or not. Which it should stay off. Yeah. So no more light. No more engine hot, AC off, all of that good stuff. So I think I'm finally good to go.